Hi guys. You know, today when you think of machines, we think of computers, we think of air conditioners, we think of helicopters, we think of giant bulldozers. But the reality is, okay, simple machines have been around for thousands of years. And simple machines are things that make work easier. What's a simple machine? Well, think of um, a flag, right? You don't climb the flagpole to put the flag up on the flagpole. You pull the string down, right? That's a pulley. Think about it, it made work easier. You pull the string, the flag comes down, pull the string, the flag goes up, it made the work easier. Well, I'm gonna use this simple machine known as a wheel and axle, okay? Without wheels and axles, cars, horses, and their wagons would not move. And the great part about this experiment is you have a little challenge, which I'll tell you about in a minute, but all I need is paper. The paper is cardstock. Regular paper would be a little too flimsy, a little too thin, okay? You could get this at any supply store, cardstock. And if you made, you could use it white, and then if you wanted to, you could actually color in your design, or you could use colored paper. Now, my challenge is to create something known as a puff mobile. Now, you're gonna say to yourself, wait a minute, wheel and axle, I don't have wheels at home, but actually, you probably do. You see, you know what this is? It's a candy. Now, if you look at it, Looks like a wheel, right? The beauty of science and true science is to be able to build things and create things with things that you have at home. Now all I'm gonna take is this candy, okay? And some cardstock. And check this out, straws. If you go to a store, get an extra straw. I'm gonna show you how this now will become the axle. This will become my wheel. And I'm gonna create something known as, we'll call it a puff mobile, okay? Now, first you wanna think about how big you want your mobile to be. So this is a little too big for me. But the, the cool thing about science is nobody gets to tell you guys what to do. You make your own decisions, okay? It's your way or the highway. So you get to design your car, you get to make it pointy, you get to make it small, you get to make it big. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to cut it in half. And then what I'm going to do, okay, I say to yourself, you know what, is that a good size? If you don't think it's a good size, maybe make it a little smaller. I'm gonna make mine just a bit smaller. You know what I'll do? I'm gonna fold it in half again. And once you have the size of your car ready, you're now ready to add on your simple machine known as the wheel and axle. My straws, I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna put it right at the top for now. Now, you could use scotch tape, you could use masking tape, you could use Elmer's glue, though it'll take a while for it to dry. And I think the tape just makes it doesn't look too nice. If you have a hot glue gun, I would prefer that. Again, adult supervision is needed for a hot glue gun because they are pretty warm, but you could use scotch tape. So I'm gonna take the hot glue gun, I'm just gonna put a stream of hot glue across the top here. And then I'm gonna take my straw. Why I like hot glue guns is, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and my axle is done. And then I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. And if you don't have a bendable straw, it doesn't matter. And the size of the straw really doesn't matter. I'm gonna add another stream of glue, and I'm gonna make it look exactly the same on the other side. Symmetry is important. 10 seconds later, believe it or not, the glue has dried, and now you can kind of see that something is starting to form here, right? Now, your wheels, your, whatever you want to call them, okay, if you have anything, it could be a bottle cap that you can make an opening into. Be creative. I'm using hard candies. There you go. But there's a problem, you see. You don't want to get on a car where the wheels fall off car will crash. It doesn't seem too safe. So how do we get the wheel to stay in place? Well, I put that in here. I'm going to take a piece of tape, regular tape. And I'm just going to take the tape and just going to wrap it around. And as I wrap it around, it creates like a little, little bolt. And you see that now it's thicker than the hole in the candy. And now your candy can't move. And now I'm just going to do the same thing four times. Take your tape and I'm gonna wrap it. And what I mean by wrap it, I don't mean I'm gonna start singing a rap song. I'm just gonna wrap it. And if you want, you could actually clip off the ends so that your car starts to look a little cooler, okay? But that's the design part, the design factor. Okay, and check this out. They actually 
rotate. The wheel is on the axle. This is my simple machine. And I'm gonna take wheel three. Now, while I put the wheels on, what is your challenge? Well, your challenge now is to create a machine that you are gonna be able to move simply by using the force of air, okay? Everything on Earth moves because of a force. Now, a force is either a push or a pull. Gravity is a force, okay? Air is a force. Now, your challenge is to create a machine that moves just by the force of air. But here's the problem, okay? This right now is my Puffmobile. It's moving, it moves, okay? But by being creative and by creating walls, okay? And by creating a back, because when you want to blow your car, it wants to hit something. You see, air moves things. Think of hurricanes, think of tornadoes. Air, when it's moving, is wind. Fast moving wind is pretty scary. You can pick up school buses. But for today, it's not gonna be scary. We're gonna try to direct the air from our mouth, hit a target on my Puffmobile, and get the Puffmobile to move. I don't need batteries, okay? Nothing cool, nothing expensive. Now, I already pre-made one, so check this out. If you have time, be creative, okay? Cotton balls, okay? I just created, using my extra paper, I made a little cylinder. Now, that could be my target. Now I'm gonna try to focus my breath, hit the target, and test my Puffmobile to see if it works. Should we try it? Let's try it, ready? So let me just move this. And if you do do it on the table, and you break your wheel, you could always replace it. All right. Then you can think about forces. Small force, strong force. Think about the, the curtain that you have in your house if the window's open. Sometimes it moves really, really slowly, that's a small force of wind. Sometimes it moves really, really fast. That's your strong force. Well, I'm gonna start with a small force and let's see what happens. Ready? Okay. Small force. Let's try it. Now, all four wheels rotated on its axle. It's perfect. Now, think about how you could change the force of air. Breathe in more air. Blow it out fast. Blow it out even harder. See how far you can get the car to go. Let's try it. Wah! Uh-oh. All right, hopefully those wheels didn't break, but let's check it out. And that's my Puffmobile. Mobile.